All right, so let's have a look at this here. So if you may recall, uh, we're looking at this idea of a common of a distance here between these two points here. So of course we can just use the distance formula, or just note that what we have here, right? We can take a look at something like this. We know that we can always just use something like this here, create a right triangle as such. So we know that this distance here, let me just go ahead and draw that in. So let's see, from 2 to 5, that's 3 here. And then from negative 3 to 1, that's up 4 here. So we know that this is going to be a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Therefore, this distance is 5 here. So this distance is 5, and you can verify this using the uh, distance formula. So now, another thing we can consider is what are other points that are also the same distance away? What are all the points that are also 5 units away from 2, negative 3? So it shouldn't be too hard to think about this here, because if we think about what's going on with this, this tells us one point definitely that we can do here, right? We can continue two outward like this and get to a new point here. We can get to 7, comma negative 3 here, right? Because that's three units this way, and then an additional two, that gets us the five we want here, right? And, you know, from there, we can actually just go in the opposite direction as well. So we don't have to stop there. We can do this here as well, go five in this direction, and get negative 3, comma negative 3. Right, and I'm sure you know we can always, in addition to going left and right, you can also go up and down here. So we can go four up, right? We go four up to one, and then we go up one more. So we're up here to the point five two, not five. I'm sorry, uh, two two. My apologies. And then do the same down here. Go five downward, and get to two negative eight here. Right? So we can come up with four points very easily here. And also note that it doesn't have to be just these four. You can also move around this uh, this 3, 4, 5 triangle into different positions. Now, note here that we can just go ahead and continue this here. And we see that it should make sense to you that if we were to continue plotting these points, every single one of these points here should be 5 units away from 2, negative 3. Now, wait a minute, that sounds very familiar points that are equidistant from a specific point, that sounds very much like a circle. And indeed, I'm going to try to sketch a circle and hopefully not fail miserably. Indeed, if we were to do something like this, all right, it's circle-like, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, but indeed, if we were to do something like this here, we end up with in a circle in the coordinate plane here. So, noting that this is the case here, we should be able to come up with a sort of an equation for it, right? Much like how we can find the equation of a line, every, so if a point lies on a line, it satisfies a specific statement. We should be able to do the same thing here for a circle. So, if we look at the circle then, right? Let's pick some general point here, x comma y, right? Now, if it's on the circle, remembering our definition, Right, this particular circle, every point on this circle is 5 units away from 2, negative 3. Which means that if I were to draw this distance here like this, this would be a distance of 5. So, we can use this and try to figure out what's going on here. So, let's take a look at this. We can use the distance formula and write it out. So, we can say here that 5 should be... You can use the distance formula. So, again, we have x comma y. So, it's going to be... x minus, in this case, 2 here, all squared, plus, we can do the same thing here, we have y minus a negative 3, oops, wrong color, all squared, right, we have that here. So one thing we can do now is just finish this up. So we know this is going to be 5 equals the square root of x minus 2 all squared plus y plus 3. All squared, right? So in this case here, we can just go ahead and remove the. Uh, we can just go ahead and remove the uh, square root by square rooting both sides, and we end up with this here. Twenty-five is therefore equal to. So I'm just going to go ahead and write this out here to try to save a little bit of time. We look at our colors and we note this here. 
we now have this particular equation here that actually looks quite nice. And it reminds you, it should be very reminiscent of the Pythagorean theorem here, right? We have x squared plus y squared is, z, is some radius squared. So notice how in this situation, we actually encode a lot of information. So in a way, it's similar to that of the point slope form here, right? Because there's a lot of information that's encoded here. Over here, we have the radius. But notice that we have the radius squared here, right? So in this case, that 25 came out as a result of 5 squared. And note here that we seem to ha also have, in addition to that, we have the center mm -hmm. of the circle here as well. Right? That's also encoded in the equation as well. So notice that the two most critical parts, the two most critical pieces of information about a circle here is actually encoded in this equation. And of course, we can just do this again with a general center and a general radius here. And I think you can very easily see here that we can take this and just simply turn this into the equation of a circle. Here. So therefore, we can note here that the equation of a circle uh, with a center at the point h, comma k and the radius of r is this. Now, a couple things to note about this here. First off, again, remember it's the radius squared. Okay, it's not just the radius; it's the radius squared here. This is a result. This is a necessity that comes from the distance formula, right? With the distance formula, we had to there was a square root over this entire thing here, so we had to square both sides to remove it. Secondly, note that we have h comma k, and then we have a minus h and a minus k here. So these, the most important part about these, is that these are going to be opposite sides of the center coordinates. Okay? So if we look back at the if we look back at the example, we see that our center was at 2 comma negative 3, so positive 2, negative 3. But notice that the equation has a negative 2 and a positive 3 here. Again, that's because of the fact that the distance formula has, a neg has minuses in it. You're subtracting the coordinates and trying to put that together here. So remember, if you're trying to find the center of a circle and read it from the equation, you have to make sure to take the reverse of the numbers that you see here. So the center is not at negative 2, positive 3. It's at positive 2, negative 3 here. Okay?